Good night, YouTubers. Thank you for coming to my channel again. I'm going to show you today how to test the ignition connector. Um, a lot of videos don't show this, how you can test your connector on your ignition coil. Okay, this is going to help you to diagnose it if you don't have no spark okay first thing you want to do is this okay you want to come inside the car put the ignition on okay second step it's going to be find a tester okay electro tester I mean I have a power probe these things are very convenient but you can just uh, find any other type of uh, tester okay so this is this is the connector right here okay you're going to have four wires here okay i can't quite see these wires and i want to see i'm going to tell you the colors on them red purple i think it's a gray and a black I'm not sure what color is that one. I think it's a, I think it's a brown. Yeah, it's a brown. Uh, definitely a brown. All right. So you got, you got four wires in this connector. Okay. So this is what you're testing. Okay, to make sure. If you have no spark, that's another issue. But. The only thing I'm I'm showing you here is to make sure that you 100% in this connector. If this is 100% on what I'm going to show you, then you have other problems. And that could be the computer or that could be the ignition relay. Okay. This is how you test it, okay? This car has um a spark hundred percent so that's what I'm gonna show you what you should be looking in this connector okay all right so here we go of all the same you're gonna test the connector okay first wire okay remember ignition has to be on okay the red one okay you should have 12 volts 14 this is a bad battery anyways um the lights are on and it's dim it but anyways you should be getting 13 to 14 volts on the red one okay now we go to the second one purple purple that's a control for the computer that tells you that the computer is sending the the, the signal to this coil that's the control now we go to the second one that is a grant also by the computer. I might be wrong, I might be right, but this is what I'm getting. This you should be getting the same reading, okay? The black one. That is definitely a ground from the body. Alright? There's your readings. Now that you verify all these, you should be getting a spark in this circuit. I mean on, on the coil. Because that's what you need. That's what it takes for this coil to ignite again this motor has a spark okay so now another issue that you could be facing is this one these 12 bolts here are ignition if you're not getting 12 bolts to this you have a problem in the ignition okay these two here that's the computer it tells you the computer is good that is a ground for the computer now this one is a ground from the body. Now, if you have two bolts here, you have a problem on the ground, okay? Somewhere in here, a broken ground, it could be, uh, uh, you know, uh, messing up you there, okay? Just like it did to me. So, I don't know, just put a, put a ground from the body down to whatever, you know? There you go, you make sure you have ground here, you grab ground here, touch anything, you know? All the body. Let's see here. There you go. You got ground right there too. So it's ground everywhere. Everywhere you touch, it's ground. 
okay guys so there we go that's how you test the circuit connector ignition connector okay thank you for watching hope this was helpful to you guys subscribe give me thumbs up and you guys have a good night god bless you